Sam, this is the first video for Sunday morning. Uh, Sunday morning sermon part one. This is the sermon for Sunday morning. Uh, Sunday morning sermon part two. Third video. Sermon part three. This is video one. Uh, sermon part four. Fourth video for Sunday morning sermon. Video three comes immediately after video two. Second video for Sunday morning's sermon. This is part two, segment two, 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 two. Final video for Sunday morning sermon. And I feel like I need to stand a bit more here. Is that where I've been so far? Let's see. Don't include that bit. Good evening. Uh, I miss eye contact uh, with people as I'm preaching. It's all very well preaching into a little lens, but there's nothing like being able to see people and to uh, hear their responses and to see the nods or the, the confused look or the, uh, to hear the mmm or the, the occasional amen from Alan Bright. Well, you know, that kind of response is just is irreplaceable and I miss it. And I miss the buzz of the room afterwards. Zoom conversations have been brilliant. Some of the best conversations I've ever had in a group, but nothing replaces that. Everyone together, all talking about the same thing, growing in our unity under the word of God. It's been absolutely heart-wrenching being apart for so long, because uh, all sitting and watching a video at the same time apart isn't really church, because church is gathering. That's what the word means, a gathering of God's people um, to hear what he has to say to us. Uh, I reckon that actually the biggest thing that I'm aware of as I've been able to preach during this lockdown period for us is what an incredible privilege it is. Um, I think it is balmy that the Lord Jesus would be willing to allow me to encourage us as we open up his word together and I explain it to us before we then go on to Zoom and all, and all digest it together to be able to start those conversations, um, to be able to help us see some of the clarity that the Lord's given me over the week. Paul said that the word of God is not bound and it's been thrilling to see that that is still just as true today as it was when he first wrote it. Um, it's been so exciting to hear of uh, people sending um, videos to friends. Um, it's been thrilling to see people that um, we know uh, listening in on things that we'd never expect them to listen to. Um, and we know that God is gonna do amazing things through this time, and um, because that is who he is. Uh, welcome to my recording studio. Uh, now I know you're thinking, you're thinking that doesn't look like a recording studio, that looks like a boy's uh, bedroom. Uh, an untidy boy's bedroom. Uh, but just watch this. And there you have it, one uh, recording studio. So I've been trying to have my notes behind the phone and just in bullet point form, so it takes longer learning them. Um, I also think that every time I make a slip up, I think, oh, I should probably go back and record that uh, because the camera's less forgiving than if we were face to face, isn't it? Because you know that I could have re-recorded and didn't. But then on the other side, I've had people in the church family like Thea say to me, no, don't be too slick, that's gross. We don't want perfection. We just want honest, authentic gospel truth. Um, so I struggle to know how good is good enough when I look like I'm trying to be a slick Rick and actually it makes people think, Bleh. Uh, and I really struggle with hearing my pastor voice come back to me as well uh, when I'm watching the videos. And I, I know that listening online, there's loads of there's loads of distractions, it's much harder in lots of ways, whether you're on your own or with small kids or, or whatever it might be. And that's been a really good incentive to me as a preacher to work harder at uh, being clear and punchy with the big thing God is saying and the big reason we need to hear what he says. To persuade us that God's king will reign and all rivals will fall. Because God's king will reign and all rivals will fall. Because God's, 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 God's king will reign, reign and all, and all rivals, rivals, will rivals will fall. Because fall. Fall. he knows God's, God's king, king will reign, reign and, and, all, and all, rivals all rivals will fall. Because once more we're shown, God's king will reign 
and all rivals will fall 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 let's pray i also get the privilege of um, being able to pretend i'm smart up here whilst really wearing adidas shorts down below and a pair of flip-flops um, so i really like the chillax version of preaching that i get here uh, oh sorry i need to get my bible sorry sam i need my bible what we say each week is really informed not just by, by what we hear um, from god in his words but by what we know of the people that we're teaching um, that shapes the implications that we focus on or how we communicate it or the objections that we particularly try and engage with and um, because we're teaching God's Word to people. Believe it or not, every week as we prepare our talks, we're trying to think about you specifically, individually, and what you need to hear um, this, this week. And um, it's just been way harder doing that um, in lockdown. I can't see the people who are yawning and falling asleep because they're finding it really boring. Um, I can't see the people who are really disagreeing and are looking down at their Bible. Actually, sometimes people like Ali Henderson just have that serious, I don't quite believe you face, even if they are happy with what I'm saying. But I can't even see his face at the moment. Uh, so all of that means I probably fear man a bit less. Uh, so there are some things that are good about the being online. Um, like I don't have to iron both sides of my shirt uh, anymore. Some of you are thinking, you haven't even bothered to do that, Jamie, but um, we'll keep moving. After the second sermon I did in James, the second one I, I did online, uh, my mum's feedback was, yeah, it was a really engaging opening. I thought it was even better than last week. I, I was really with you and I was loving it until you started endlessly repeating yourself and then I got bored. I'm not stupid. <laughs> Thanks, mum. Uh, we keep going at it because it's it, it's what makes us a church to hear the sound of God's voice week by week. You, uh, you know the story of Mary and Martha where Jesus says of Mary as she sits at his feet and listens, uh, the one she's doing the one thing that matters, listening to the sound of the voice of Jesus Christ. And so that, that's what we've got to do week in, week out. We've just got to keep listening, even if it's hard. And, 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 and I and others have got to keep preaching and teaching because that's what matters, listening to the voice of Jesus Christ. Okay, I hope that's enough for you. Because once more we're shown, God's King will reign and all rivals will fall.